Hello, today I show you how to use Ink Sketch Photoshop action and here is some of results you can make with this action. Okay, here is original photo. Then you need to paint the area where you want to focus and play the action. And here is the result. Also another example, the original photo, the area layer and the result. And also a few examples. Ok, let's go to the Photoshop and firstly some recommendations for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution between 3 and 6 thousand pixels on one axis for best effect. So if you use photo with too small resolution just open the photo and go to the image, image size and change the width or height value between three or six thousand pixels. Okay, and before you action, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language and the link under this video. Second step, go to the image, mode, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step just for CS5 and high versions, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options and check the add copy to copy layers and groups. Ok, now how to use action. First open your photo and one more important moment, uh, your photo need to has a background view. So if your photo has a layer view, you just need to select the background photo and go to the layer, new, and just select the background from layer. Now it's ok. The next step, open brushes file, then go to the edit, presets, preset manager, in preset type select brushes, click load, go to a download folder and just load ink sketch brushes file. Okay, click done. Okay, the next step, open the patterns file for that call to the edit, presets, preset manager, but now in preset tab select patterns, click load, go to a download folder again and just load the ink sketch patterns file. Wait a few seconds and click done. And the next step, open action file for that go to the window, actions, Click on menu icon at the right, click on the load actions, go to a download folder last time, open the action file folder and now you can see two folders. If you use Photoshop CS6 or CC uh, you need to open this folder and if you on Photoshop CC 2015.5 and highest versions uh, you need to open this folder. You can see the action file, just make double click and load this action file. Now you can see that action file is uh, added to actions panel. Ok, the next step, it's very important step, you need to create a new layer and you need to rename this layer to area name, please don't use the caps lock, after that uh, you need to create the area, you can paint this area where you want to focus. Uh, for that you can use brush tool, uh, you can use quick selection tool or magic vent tool and of course you can use some of lesser tools. Uh, for this image I gonna use a polygonal lesser tool. So let's make the selection.
or different types of photos, you can use uh, different tools to make the selection. So, for example, if you use photo on white background, you can use the magic wand tool to make the selection very quickly. Also, you can use brush tool with with hard round or soft round brush. Also, one recommendation: uh, don't make uh, too small areas. Okay, the selection is done. Let's fill this selection using the paint bucket tool. You can use any colors, I like red. And also let's little erase the bottom side of this area. And also I want to use the crop tool to add a little more space at the bottom of image. It's very useful if you want to place your object in the center of composition. So the area is done. Now you need to open the actions panel. If you close it, the actions panel, go to the window, actions, find the ink sketch Photoshop action uh, in the actions list, open the photo with section, open the action and please select the action to make the play button active. So now you need to click play, but firstly, Please select the brush tool and make sure that the opacity and flow values of brush tool is 100% and also make sure that the normal mode is selected also. Ok, click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all steps and the speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm little scroll this step. Ok, now action finish at work and you can edit and improve the final composition and now I show you how to make this. But firstly I want to show you how to close all folders because now you can see that all folders is open it. So to close all folders just click and hold Ctrl plus Alt case combination and just open and close the first main folder. And now you can see that all folders is closed. So let's start to edit the final composition. And the final composition contains six folders. It's background elements, your object elements, ink plots and drops, additional elements, 10 color effects and color and contour settings of all image. Let's start from background elements. This folder contains only two layers. It's background color. Uh, I recommend use a white color, but you can use any color. Uh, to change the color, just make double click on this uh, layer and select the color what you need.
Also this folder contains the background color gradient. Make visible this layer. And to change the colors of this gradient, just make double click. Click on the gradient and just select the left bottom slider. Click on the color and just change the color. Also, you can change uh, the second color. And also you can change the angle of the gradient. You can move this gradient. And you can scale this gradient using the scale slider. Okay. The next folder it's your object elements. This folder contains many folders with object elements. Let's start from main control lines folder. This folder contains uh, many layers with control lines. Next folder it's main hatching layers. You can use the mask of the folder or you can use the layer mask if you need to erase some space of layer or folder. Uh, to erase some space of the main hatching uh, layers, just select the mask of the folder, select the brush tool, change color to black and just paint where you want to erase the hatching. Also, if you want to make visible this hatching effect, just paint using the white color. You can use the same method on the layer masks. The next layer is small drops on the object. You can also use the mask of this layer to erase black color to erase and white color to make visible. Next folder it's silhouette lines. You can also use the mask of this folder if you need to erase some parts of silhouette lines. Okay, the next folder it's main dark parts of your object. And the next folder it's quick radial effects. This folder contains two layers with a white and black effect. So the white uh, radial effect is very useful if you need to add more sketchable effect on some parts of your composition. So you can make the head more detailed and the bottom side of your object more sketchable. Also you can scale this radial effect. I think it will be very useful for some cases. And the black effect adds on your composition the black radial shadow frame. It will be very useful if you need to add more shadow. It will be very useful if you need to add more shadow on some parts of your composition. Also, you can scale this effect.
and you can change the opacity of black and white for a dealt effect. And the next folder, it's additional painting elements and dark tones. This folder contains more dark details plus ink effect layer. You can hide or change the opacity of this layer. Also, this folder contains two additional uh, layers with vertical hatching. and additional control lines. And also, uh, your object elements folder contains the brightness and contrast tool. You can use this tool to change the brightness and contrast of your object elements. Okay, the next folder it's ink blots and drops. This folder contains the folder with blots. You can see that uh, the ink blots folder contains three uh, layers with blots. You can move these blots. Also, you can rotate and transform your blots. For that, just select the blot layer and go to the Edit, Retransform. And just rotate and scale your blot. Also, you can make visible more blots. And if you need two more blots, you can duplicate these blots. Just select the blot which you need to duplicate and go to the layer, duplicate layer. And just move the new blot. Okay. The ink drops uh, folder contains the ink drops you can see that now only one in drops layer is visible. You can also move these drops. You can transform, rotate and scale these drops. It will be very useful if you want to create very unique effect. And also let's make visible the small in drops. It's very small in drops. Okay, that's done. Okay, the next main folder it's additional elements folder. This folder contains the add more white details tool. Uh, this tool is very useful if you need to add more white details and also in cases when the action make very dark composition. So to use this uh, tool just select the layer mask, select brush tool with white color and just paint where you want to add more white details. It's very useful. Also to erase these white details, just change color to black 
and paint again. Also the additional uh, elements folder contains the paper textures and ink rectangles folder. This folder contains two paper textures and the folder with ink rectangles. The folder contains two layers with ink rectangles. Here is second ink rectangle and first. Let's use the second ink rectangle for this photo. You can uh, also transform this rectangle. You can scale and rotate and of course move this layer. Also you can change the brightness and contrast of this rectangle. And you can add the color tone to ink rectangle. Also you can use the first rectangle, but firstly you need to hide the second rectangle. You can also move and transform this rectangle. Let's use the second rectangle. If you don't want to use the ink rectangles, you can hide this folder. And also I recommend to hide the paper texture one if you don't want to use the ink rectangles. The next folder, add original color and details, contains the layer with original color tones. You can also change the hue saturation of these color tones. Looks nice. Also you can add the original details. It will be very useful if you want to show the original parts of your object. Just select the layer mask, select brush tool with white color and paint where you want to add more original details. It's very easy. And to erase these original details just change the color to black and paint again. Ok, the next folder is shadow and light gradients. This folder adds more realism on your composition. This folder contains the shadow frame layer. You can change the opacity of this layer. Also this folder contains the two layers with shadow gradients. You can edit the angle of this gradient and you can change the position of this shadow gradient. Let's make the shadow gradient at the right side. And also let's change the position of first shadow gradient. Also this folder contains the light gradient. Of course you can hide this shadow and light gradients folder. If you need to save the clean sketch without any shadow or lights effect. Ok, the next folder is 10 color effects. You 
can combine this fx and also you can change the opacity of this fx in the last folder it's color and contour settings of all image you can add the gradient to all image you can change the angle of gradient and you can change the colors of gradient also. Of course, you can change the hue saturation of your composition. You can add the photo filter to all image to change the photo filter just make double click select the photo filter from list you can change the density also you can add the black and white effect and you can add the color tone to all image And finally, you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So, it's ready. Here is result. Looks very nice. Now I need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.